You might not know the word emaw, but they do in Manhattan, Kansas. It means every man a wildcat. And inside Bill Snyder Family Stadium, virtually every man, woman, and child is a wildcat and loves Kansas State. What a matchup we have in store. It's still early in the season, but this is a major test for a couple of squads who've gotten out of the gate undefeated. As we'll see, the number 13 team in the country, the Arizona Wildcats, taking on the 15th ranked team in the land, the Kansas State Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time okay. to get it going. Kansas State I, I about to kick <laughs> off to get this game started. Tell him you're tell him you're coming to get your stuff and then decide against it. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner will be brought down. So Arizona's offense is going to be backed up thanks to that lackluster return. And here he is, guys. Anytime he takes the field, he is in. Just, yeah, just, uh, I would just talk to him. Just talk to him. the gun the inside kick and he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle they got nothing on the last play at second and ten try to get the edge with a quick touch pass now they've got a little room to work with they're out to the 28 with the first down here's this offense with a fresh set of downs He'll do it himself. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. On the run, it's Conley. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. The Wildcats are marching down the field. To the ground, he's got it again. When you have a conference as deep and balanced as this Big 12 is, it's important to get off to a quick start in conference play. Yeah, you're gonna be challenged each and every week here in the Big 12 conference. Since they've expanded, the quality of this conference has gotten so much better. So David, big challenge here to make sure mentally your mind is right starting the season off today. Yeah, I mean, to make your dreams come true, it starts one game at a time, the old cliche, but the Big 12, year in and year out, so many different teams that can beat you. So many different teams that can put points up on the scoreboard. Got to start fast in Big 12 play. They're getting this guy lathered up. Had to work to pick up three down to the 33-yard line. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking to pass. It's Fafita. Firing to the right complete. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there. Got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. Defense a little too anxious there. They're just making it easier for this offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He caught it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. You love as a head coach to watch your offense take the field and establish a rhythm and consistency the way they did there. Everything they dialed up was working to perfection. They go 10 plays on the opening drive and cap it off with a touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. And no chance at a return. Here they'll start this drive at their own 25. So the Kansas State Wildcats offense will try to get something going with their first possession. And you'd better be sharp throwing 
the football to the outside, Jesse, because both of these teams have lock-up corners. And they're really good at baiting you into throwing their way as well. You've got to be careful. And, David, I like these guys, too, because they're not afraid to get their face in the fan and support the run game. No doubt. And it's fun because when you're a defense and you can shut down half the field, you can do so many different things to give other guys help because you trust these guys on an island outside. Love seeing these early season top 25 matchups. You can get a really good feel of how good these teams are, guys. And the intensity is going to be big, too, David, because the players, you know, on these teams, they've been thinking about this game for a long time. They knew they'd have a national stage, and they got a chance to prove just how good they are. Oh, man, make that statement. Make that early state. We always look at the end of the season, and, and what does the committee say? Oh, they beat top 25 so-and-so. Here's your chance to put that on your resume that'll pay off big time in late in the season. Takes a handoff, and he's going right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Johnson wants to throw it. Pocket starts to collapse. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Really impressed with how this team has seized momentum here, playing on the road in this hostile environment. Their offense gets it first. They march down the field. They put up some points. And here's the defense now on their first drive, getting a critical sack on third down. Kansas State will have to punt it away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. Calls for the fair catch and makes it just around the 30-yard line. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. Here's the handoff. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. They gobbled up a ton of yardage to open this drive and now in business near midfield at the 49. Right back to the well. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Personal foul, foul, foul. Face man, man. Defense. Defense. He was grabbing for anything he could get a hold of and wound up with a fistful of face mask, and it'll cost him 15. To the air on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Miranda. I tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for a quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Fires to the right. It's caught downfield. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. And this offense right now, they're doing some damage through the air. That's now their second passing touchdown. They thought coming into this game, they were going to have some matchups on the perimeter of the field that they could take advantage of, and they've done that so far here today. Lining up to add another. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. UTSA looked less like a pack of road runners and more like a group of road warriors in a solid victory. This team almost always plays tough in San Antonio, and today they found a way outside of the Alamo Dome. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Quick touch pass to the receiver. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. That's the end of the quarter, and Arizona has the lead here. They came out and jumped on them early in the first. Let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period, and they try to find a way to answer. On the move. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. 
Looking for space. It's Giddens. Out of the crowd, and now he's got room. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. They'll give it to him again. He's there to make the stop. Well, they want to come out and try to get the run game established, but up front defensively, they made a play. They gave up nothing on that one. Got to find some breathing room if you're going to establish yourself on the ground, and there wasn't any that time. Yeah, Reese, I wonder now if this offense is maybe going to try to get to the perimeter of the field and see if they can use their speed to hurt this defense. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Running back searching for a hole. Running behind those pads, he gets a couple before he stopped at the 18. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Quick pass on the fly motion. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Johnson looking to throw. Finds his big tight end. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. And the D deny them on second and goal. He's looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Giddens. And there's going to be a loss on that play. Just run out of bounds and avoiding the contact. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Into the end zone. It's incomplete, but here comes the flag, and I think it's going to be a first down. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Wildcats! A methodical drive, soul-crushing, spirit-breaking, and it ends in a touchdown. And listen, I know everybody wants the big plays, the big, long touchdowns and all that stuff, but putting a drive together like that is very difficult to do time and time again, and it's demoralizing for the defense. Great drive by the offense. Lining up for the PAT. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 14, Kansas City, 7. On the move from inside is 5. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Looking for room, it's Conley. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield. It's Murphy. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. And it's incomplete despite some serious arm strength shown there. Arizona runs out the punt team. Signals for the fair catch and looks it in at the 40. First down here for the offense. Give to the running back. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Johnson wants to throw it. Finds a tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. The deep thinking brings some heat on third and long from the 44. The play action fake. Fires left. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. And the Wildcats will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. 
fair catch called for and made. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Pulls it and fires to the left. The Wildcats are stopped, but not before getting the first down. He's going to pass. Caught over the middle. It's McMillan. And the defense had that one well covered just a short game there. Still some work to do after that last completion. It's second down. He's looking to throw. Using the quick game. And that play just looked to be a mess from the snap. And he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. He wants to throw it again. That's reeled in. It's Murphy. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. First down here for the offense. Looking to move it through the air. Outside the pocket, lets it go. A strike downfield. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Johnson looking to throw. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. K-State sends the punt team onto Hello. the field, ready to boot it away. He'll try to really get into this one. No fair catches here, looking for room. He's brought down, but there's also a penalty marker down. Let's see what this First is about. Foul, foul. Roughing the kicker, kicker. Defense, defense. Oh, shit. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They oh, will shit. take the penalty. Where are I watching that? Comes out throwing on first down. Oh, you cutting out. You're Fires cutting to out. the wide out. He's got an open man. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. Yeah, and you see some quarterbacks who hesitate to throw the ball in the middle. I love it when you attack the whole field. And the middle of the field and being able to throw over linebackers and between safeties is a big skill, but show that defense. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Looking to throw on second down. He lets one fly deep. And they can't hook up. Going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Grabbed over the middle. It's Jackson. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. And he's got to find the right combination of distance and accuracy from the right hash and 45 yards out. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive.
Looking for Probably a productive bad, play on bad first area. down. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State. And I just love the execution nice. by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And that was you Keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Okay. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Of course he did. And the extra of course he did. I mean, could you imagine the kid's character? That's exactly what you want to do when you have that type of field position. Well, I'm, yeah, hell yeah. That would be a great game to watch, I think. Here's the return from inside his tent. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. A little okay. too anxious we'll try to on do, that try offense. To do that. Let's start. Can you believe football is back? has been made and the coach will take the penalty. The first okay. down for the offense. Who Looking they for playing? a crease. It's Conway. And he works his way forward and finally down at the 15. Yeah, you told me about it. From the gun, running what back against again. And after that short game, they'll head to the corner for Mitt's halftime here. That's going to wrap up the first what half the? here. And now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Men, it should come as no surprise What's, that we have ourselves a fun matchup in Manhattan. And we'd be remiss if we didn't start this yeah. halftime report by acknowledging the sparkling play of this tight so. end. Black Guys like an dude. aircraft carrier out there as a blocker. And then when he releases no, like and shows off that speed Ooh, and running, running, that's, that's he's that's almost unguardable. Playing against his former team. That's crazy. Anywhere in this second half without someone yeah, yeah, attached yeah, to his crazy. What a narrative. With that said, let's send it back to the guys in the Little Apple. Fielded in the end zone. It's Lockett. Yeah. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second guessing that return. Okay, yeah, man. He's safe. Back in the power cat offense returns Bye -bye. to the field. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20 yard line. After the three yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give to the back. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Now on first down from the 28. He wants to throw. Incomplete, and they tried to catch him flat-footed on first down, but the defense was ready. Now second and 10. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. Third down after the run. Johnson wants to throw it. Quickly complete. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Kansas State will have to punt it away. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. Jet sweep to the receiver. At the 35, he's open. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. Arizona in a hurry. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Shakes off the tackle. At the 35, he's got room. He's loose on the right. Just what they were looking for. A huge explosive play in there inside the 15 at the 13-yard line. Might as well give it to him again. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. Going to work on second down in the red zone. Is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Touchdown, Arizona. And that one will give him the lead. 
And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing into the end zone because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. UCLA is in the unusual position of having to come from behind right now, but there's not a soul who doesn't believe they can't pull this off. They're trailing by 11 to Indiana. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. Looking for room. It's Giddens. Into a mass of giant bodies. We'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. Here on third down. From the gun. Wants to pass. Works the middle. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Kansas State back at it after picking up the first down. Give to the back. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Out of the gun to give to the back. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Here comes the offense on second down. Oh, it's a reverse. He's got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. And the defense there goes zone coverage. Maybe confused the quarterback a little bit, forced him to hold on to the football, and that allowed the pass rush to get home. K-State sends the punt team onto the field, ready to boot it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He's got it. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse. And they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to bully their way for the first. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. Arizona runs out the punt team. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. The offense lining up for a first down play. The running back has it. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Now on second down. Johnson looking to throw. Got it set up on the outside. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. 
And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Kansas State will have to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Oh, what a cut! And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. you like old school running games this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who start through the first three period one more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory after picking up a couple at second and eight they think there's room to run to the right here they make the stop but there is a flag on the field we'll see what that's all about just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum he's going to pass on second down catch in the middle it's McMillan and just a short safe pass play they pick up a few now facing a third and long from the gun wants to pass Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. Man, that's a great example of KYP. Know your personnel. A QB that doesn't run great, trying to get outside of the pocket. Nice job by the defense applying pressure and running him down and getting the huge loss. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. And that is how a punter helps out his defense, pinning them deep in their own territory. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. Well, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. We want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively. I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down a little bit. These last few drives, looks like he's seen ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. Third and short, they've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. They'll stick to the ground, looking for the marker. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. And the Wildcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the hot hand. At the 40, there he goes. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Johnson wants to throw it. Moves away as he feels pressure. Turns it on in midfield. And he's running in the open. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down. And he slides in safely. I'll tell you what, coaches want you to do your best work late in the ball game. He did his best work. Great job taking off. Biggest run of the day after grinding this game out, grinding this game out, makes it explosive. Now trying to put this game in a good situation. They'll give it to the back. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25 and they're set up with a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. Couldn't connect on first down. Now second and 10 from the 24. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Gets it out quickly. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. 
personal foul. Look at the pass. Defense. Defense. I know defenders hate quarterbacks and love nothing more than hitting them, but you're hitting yourself in the gut when you get a 15-yard penalty. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. From the gun, wants to pass. He wants it all. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. He splits the get right to blitz three on the board. And that's massive. All the pressure on your defense now. You've made the field goal. You've got to get the ball back. You need one more kick. That's what you need. And so the defense has to be ready to take the field right now, play with intensity, play with energy, and get it back to the offense quickly. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. He'll bring it out. It's Hunter. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to ride this running back. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. He'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. The give and tick, 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 tick. Good blocking, good running pickup of six out to the 30. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. Back to pass. It's Fafita. They've got the screen set up. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. Arizona runs out the punt team. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Looking for a block. It's Lockett. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stops. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. And those two couldn't make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. Quarterback empties his backfield. On second down, he'll let it fly. Quickly to the tight end. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. We've reached the two-minute warning and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Third and long and he'll try to throw for it. That's caught. It's Jackson. And wisely gets out of bounds to stop the clock. They've got the first down. Now in plus territory and a chance to save themselves. The Wildcats come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll go back to the ground. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. 20, he's got space. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Kansas State in business in the red zone. They'll run it in the red zone. It's Giddens. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. Not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block better. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? And the pressure will get there. The sack. He goes in the waning moments. That could be a costly play. The give to the back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Field goal is good. There is a flag on the first play. Uh, now, this is on the defense. It might not change that much. Offense has already made the long field goal. Might be the worst-case scenario for this defense. Thought they'd held them to three. Now the offense with a chance for more. 
Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. It's complete to the left. The defense going to stop the clock with the timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Johnson looking to throw. Snags it. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. The offense will quickly use a timeout. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. To the ground to try to move the chains. Only able to pick up a yard before he stopped, and now it's fourth and three. So now we'll line up for one of the biggest kicks of this game. This to jump into the lead in the final minute. He smashes it between the uprights. They're celebrating on the sideline after taking the lead, but still time on the clock. You got to give this guy so much credit, man. It is so hard in practice to simulate the pressure that he just faced. Late in the game, seconds left on the clock. You have an opportunity to kick a field goal to put your team up late in the game, and he absolutely drilled it. What a moment for that young man. He'll take a knee. It's a touchback save every second he can as they try to put together this final drive. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Couldn't find anybody to throw to. He'll just toss it away. It'll be second down. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. On second down, looking again to throw. Pressure coming. Got rid of it just in time. Nothing to do with the football, and he just throws it away. It'll be third down. Got to move quickly here. They need to get it to field goal range. Quickly complete. And here we go. Down a score. They'll go for it on fourth down. Desperate to convert, and he'll throw it. He's got a first down and maybe a lot more. And not much of a fourth down gamble when it's that much of a sure thing. An easy conversion for this offense. He'll spike the ball to try to save every precious second he can. Second down coming up. Back to throw. It's Fafita looking to the big tight end. Good quickness to grab it off the deflection. Sometimes it's just not your day. Things just didn't work, and that seemed to be the case here. Well, they, they didn't get the W. They didn't do enough. Uh, but now you start to think about what could I have done differently? What do I need to become more offensively? Defensively, what can I morph into to make those extra plays, Jesse? That might be the difference in the next game that I play. Yeah, David, they just need a little bit more. They need a little bit better effort next week. They're going to need better preparation this week in practice. There's no doubt this team has a lot of talent, but we just need a little bit more to ensure that this doesn't happen next week. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.